Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined today by Justin Gray. Um, this is the second installment with the founder of Midio. Um, one of my favorite guests here, I have to say. Um, he's. I'm he's holding up my Midio pen here. Midio pen. In, in case anyone wants a Midio swag, let us know. Make a comment. Make a comment if you could even see what that says on that pen. It says it says it says Midio right there. Hold on. We're going to move on from this okay? Um, and we're going to go on to our first song. As always, we're going to listen. We're going to give comments regarding sync, um, production comments, and just general comments we have. The first song we have today is called 100% by Danny Doucette. And we are going to listen now. <laughs> To be this understood, feeling as good as I am right now. I never felt that I was unstoppable till you told me what you saw in me. Saw the stars I couldn't see, and on those days I am doubtful. You always know how to make me smile. What? I don't know why you finished so much earlier than me. No, I, no, I, I, why is that? Because I moved back? No, I was just, I was just trying to see at what point I fade into the background, actually. That's not how I registered that <laughs> at all. I thought you were like obnoxiously waiting for me to see. No, it. not at all. No, no, we have, no, we all played at the same time. It's good. I have a couple of comments. May I start? Go ahead. Yeah, of course. You so start. I found to be two usages in particular that just came off the top of the dome piece over here so when i started listening to the song the verses kind of reminded me of very like um rom romantic comedy vibes uh especially at the payoff where like the two characters realize they love each other and like they're like oh my god you're the one and blah 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 so in that sense the verses kind of give me the tv slash movie uh sync placements but the choruses are very encouraging and uh especially saying by female it's it's very positive and i think that could be 
used for commercials promoting any kind of female health or um, positivity, especially like the 100% you, I think is a really powerful line. Mm -hmm. And those are my comments. I love it. I love it. You know, I, this is actually why I love doing these with you because you have a, um, you, you, you really do come at it from an A&R mindset. And I seem to always come at it from a technical different side of it. So I, you know, I think it's rare that we repeat each other's sentiments. So I, first of all, totally agree with what you're saying. I think, I think your, your points are spot on. Um, I kind it, it, Danny it, it has sort of pinged my Instagram radar a little bit lately. And, um, I think she's I actually think she's kind of a, I think she's a, uh, an undiscovered gem. I think I, I'm I, hopefully she'll be discovered at some point. Um, I love her voice. Totally with you. I think the message of the song is great. Uh, I think that there's a huge push right now for, uh, you know, strong female perspective empowerment music, which I think is amazing. Um, I, I, you know, I, I would say this, it, my one sort of negative or the drawback on this is I think the production is a little bit, uh, it's a little dated sounding. And I kind of almost wish that the song was much more simpler in its, in its approach to how it was put together. It's like something more like Stay by Rihanna or you know something that was just a little bit of a simpler delivery in terms of the message, right? Or like Rise Up by Andrew Day. Like I know that the, it's not the same song, but I think that if you lose some of the synthiness and just really lean on the lyric and the melody uh, and, and also a really great vocal performance, I would definitely consider making an alternative version of this, an alternate version of this song where, where a music supervisor or somebody can have those tools because when the production is there, all of a sudden it, it creates a whole narrative around where the song could be used. But if you really simplify it, especially you can't say that all the time because not every song has a vocal that can carry a simpler version, right? So I think that it makes sense to have a, a simple piano vocal version that just tells the story and maybe some other stuff. But yeah, I would I would think about making a version that's less synthy and produced. Yeah, and also you get more emotionally out of that too. hundred percent. <laughs> hey we did it <laughs> with that we're gonna move to song number two which is called locked in all night otherwise known as my 2020 experience <laughs> uh, uh, ready? and that's by zay nova so all right. one one two three play ready one two three <laughs> I wanna have a good time with the boys tonight I got my Friday check, hell I feel alright Hey bartender, you know my dream Another shot, no, no, don't you cut me off I wanna drink her memory tonight Hey bartender, one more please yeah. But nature calls in the bathroom Sleep till it's 3 a.m. The bar is quiet and everybody's gone. I'm locked in. I'm walking home, it's a cold and freezing dawn I didn't rock that bar, hell I missed the show I'm feeling down low I crush myself and that cute bartender Why don't they check everything inside the bar? The damn, I hate them all How can they leave me in the bathroom stall? Fell asleep till it's 3 a.m. The bar is quiet and everybody's gone. Yeah, I'm locked all night long. I'm locked all night long. Somebody save me, save me, save me, please. So I break out when. 
know I don't wanna be locked in all night long. Yeah. So I swore never again. Yeah. Hell, I swore never again. I'm locked in. Hey. Hey. Um, I saw you writing some notes down over there. You got anything? Uh, got anything good? We can't see those. We can't see those at all. I know. Awesome. But I do have notes. Um, I've just discovered that white paper creates is see through. Uh, okay. So I do have some notes. So here's the first. Uh, I'll, I'll start. Um, I have to tell you that in the maybe. 100,000 songs that I've listened to in my career, pro it's probably something like that, or in your in my life, I've literally never heard this concept in a song. So I think there's something that is remarkably unique about that. So Wait, kudos. I, I was trying to follow the storyline and also trying to make notes, and I think I missed the whole storyline. Can you So me? to me, the storyline is uh, this guy gets drunk in a bar, <laughs> this guy gets drunk in a bar okay. and goes to pee, and falls asleep in the toilet stall and they close the bar and he's stuck in the toilet stall and he is locked in all night long. Wait, what? So it really is quite true to your story, Carrie. I think you're right about that. I think I'm, I mean, I, I think that's what the story was. So- I was God, busy can... making production comments. I did not, <laughs> I did not, that's incredible. I agree. So I'm saying like, I've literally never heard that concept in a song before. And so I think, to unlock something like that, that is literally a completely fresh take. Um, you know, there's always like those stories about like people that are locked in at like, they get locked in at a Walmart or something. And then it becomes like the whole, like, it becomes like a Kevin Hart movie or something. You know, this is, this is like a, um, so, so, I, so in that sense, I think it felt pretty fresh. I think the production and the Sonics felt pretty good. Um, little, little technical things. Uh, I thought that the intro could be cut in half. Um, also, uh, I thought the story would be interesting if it was maybe a little less on the nose, but it came from a, maybe consider a, a, a female, a female version of the song. Um, the chorus, I think, is not as evolved as it could be. I mean, if you're going to stick with the locked in all night long, I think that's cool, but it, there needs to be, the story needs to evolve a little bit. Um, uh, and I'd also, in the second verse specifically, I would look to find different ways to just revisit that melody. I know it's always tricky when people have done demos and they're kind of these completed songs and you know, you don't want to, and this is why we've said this before in the past, at least I have, is that always when you're done making records have instrumentals and, and that, so, so going back in the studio isn't a whole thing. You can always just add a vocal to it in a pretty easy way. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I was saying in the second verse, create some new melodic info and, uh, just, just a weird thing. The word stall and 3 a.m. felt like a weird rhyme to me. And so I was thinking of, you know, maybe going back and kind of revisiting that. But again, it's not as hard, uh, it's not as difficult a concept when you have um, instrumentals and stems and parts that you can go and, and, and draw from. So those are my notes. So I missed the whole storyline because I was distracted by, I didn't think the voice was that complimentary with the music. And that kind of distracted me for a long time. I thought they, were, they would both be good by themselves. And the, I thought the voice was very unique. It has a lot of potential, but I, I just felt like they weren't 
they did not complement each other well. And I felt like they were two different ideas that were like, it almost felt like when you go on YouTube and you search a song that's actually a mashup of two popular songs and they just kind of throw it on each other. I was so distracted by that. Um, I, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. I thought the voice was cool actually, but maybe not in this context. Yeah, I agree. Interesting. Thank Interesting. You. Well, no, I, I, I'm agreeing with you. Don't say I, oh. you agree with me. I'm agreeing with you. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm with agree you. I agree with you agreeing with me. <laughs> so we agree. Perfect. All right. Song number three is called You Got It by Sticky the Menace. First of all, can we just talk about like major points for the name? That's a great name. Sticky the Menace is a great name. There's a lot to live up to right now. All right, let's go listen. Ready? Girl, I'm tryna see what's up with ya In your back, it got you thinking you above niggas Bitch in front and for the ground like this, I'm tough niggas Ain't no plan about you, try it, I'm a bust nigga Do shit for you just to stay up in a frame picture Turn around, now you complaining you a lame nigga The same reason that I stay up in my lane nigga What they on me while she fucking on the gang nigga yeah, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen no other girl Might be the little things you wear Make these niggas stop and stare Fully equipped, I can't prepare Pull up to the telly, I'll meet you there Know you stressed out, trust me, I swear Girl, hold on tight, I'll take you there Cause you, you, you got it You, you, you got it Girl, you, you, you got it Get it started, turn your bedroom to a party, yeah You, 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 got it You, 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 got it Girl, you, 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 got it Get it started, turn your bedroom to a party, yeah She a bad little thing, she a thigh piece And if I bust it, then her baby right behind me And then she come and tell me where them niggas hiding I got your back if you got mine, it's a for life thing And if she stayed off for the rest, so perfect timing Said she gon' let me in it if I say the right things I draw my man and I upgrade to my side piece and my white teeth flag ain't to the right please cause you 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 got it you 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 got it girl you 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 got it get it started turn your bedroom to a party yeah you 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 got it you 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 got it girl you 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 got it Get it started, turn your bedroom to a party, turn yeah Turn your bedroom to a party, all these bitches getting gnarly She gon' run me like a Harley, now you look at what you started If you down for the freaking, we can do this every weekend Nigga find out he was tweaking, tell your man to stop that tweeting Roll up on him, ain't no speaking, we just let that nigga bleeding Swear, niggas change up like the season Smooth talking, now she leaking Bend it over, let me beat it Start the way, then they eat it This can be a little secret This can be a little secret Let me know if you gon' keep it I just bought her for no reason Fuck your bitch and then I'm leaving Fuck your bitch Okay, Justin, are you back? Yes, I'm back. All right, let's hear the comments. Um, okay, so, uh, I, first of all, I think that just as a general note, you got to cut your intros. People need to cut their intros. It's there's like a crazy high skip rate on Spotify when you have these long intros. So, you know, we got it. You've set the mood, especially on this record. You set the mood. It's we already know it's gonna be super vibey. We get it. We don't need that intro doubled up. Shorten that out. And again, sometimes we're hitting these songs and we know that they've already been put out on Spotify or they've already been released. So hopefully you can at least take this as a a a, a a guide or a beacon for like the next thing that you do, right? Like, so keep those intros shorter. Um, love the vocal, love the melody. Uh, one of the main issues that I'm sure that you're going to talk, talk about is records like this are very underserved in, in film and TV for sync. Like a record like this could be easily in a million different TV shows that are on the air, but you know, when it's, when there's profanity or there's like, you know, like, I mean, I don't know any way to say the N word, uh, you know, it, it re drastically limits your opportunities to get these songs licensed. 
you know so if there's a way to find a, a you know a creative um alternative to to that i would really suggest doing it because you're immediately cutting yourself out from any opportunities that could be meaningful and and financially rewarding um the uh one qu quick technical note i loved the breakdown hook the second half of the first time i would actually like to hear the whole first hook being a breakdown and i loved the the breakdown at the end the sort of half time half speed low formatted vocal i almost wish that was a post chorus or something um so that that was it but i mean i i love the vibe i think that record is really is really good but i know this like really sits in your wheelhouse right carrie yeah um so i also love the vibe very vibey i would download this song um i think it's very relevant too and i couldn't place who he sounds like but he sounds like one of the newer rap r&b-esque um combos i love the going from you know half rapping and singing like that's very that's very uh that's very very relevant right now um i agree with the comments you made with uh you know the cursing and everything but you could also chop it up you know like the you got it part uh obviously there was no profanity in that and you could use that or just have you know another version where uh there's less cursing you know um but there's also like um songs like this and you know movies that would have this song they could i feel like they could also use that word you know what i'm saying like right. um like i feel like it doesn't necessarily limit it totally because there are like shows like you know euphoria where you they could totally have the um explicit version um and that doesn't really limit them um so i could actually see it getting placed um in some movies and tv shows that don't have that kind of limitation but i i agree that you know commercials and 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 things of that nature you can't have um well, again, I just think it's I just think it's it's a good option when you're in the studio and you're bouncing down a version to just have a clean, have like a have 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 an option. Yeah, I agree. Know? Like like um, you know, because it's it's always much more troublesome to have to go back and recreate that option. You're right there in the studio, you're done, make a clean version or bounce a clean version or whatever. Um, you know, like I mean, a great example to me, I mean this is gonna this is going back way, way, way too many years, but is like like the way that kanye and gold digger right like the way that the way in the hook that that the way he flipped and chopped up gold mm -hmm. digger you know and and she ain't messing with no broke broke you know just it kind of made it cool there was like a moment where it became a flip on it just as good as the original yeah so again i think that there's i think that there is clever ways to approach this because i think that these are Again, I, there's no shortage of really great stuff that um, that is shared with us from our community. It's 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 pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Also, just one uh, quick note that I just it just stuck out to me. The can we retire the phrase "ride me like a Harley"? There's so many other things that are like you can drive and and ride. You know, I just hear Harley like it's just they use it all the time. You know, in rap. Um, it's just there's other things. What, you know? what do what what do you what do you have against Harleys? Nothing. I think they're great. I guess. Why do you hate Harley? Why do you hate Harley Davidson motorcycles so much? Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're wow. Awesome. Anyway, song number four. Thank you, Sticky the Menace. Song number four is "Lovers Will Be Lovers" by Carl Espin Hamra. Hamra. Oh, Kali, Kali, right? Yeah, C A L L E, right? No. No, I don't think I'm so. Not, I'm not getting there, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Should I play um, it? All right. No, yeah, play it. Let's let's play it. One, two, three, go. Yeah. 
I am back. All right, I have a few comments. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I thought, ultimately, really, really cool song, but I think it took too long to get going. Obviously, I thought the intro was too long, and even the first verses or two first verses were a little too linear. Um, and I thought there could have been more payoff in the first two choruses as well. It, it started to really get going towards the end, which I understand a sense of buildup, but I don't think I, if I was just going through Spotify that I would necessarily stay around because I wouldn't foresee that epic ending necessarily. Um, I thought that as opposed to what we told Danny Doucette at the beginning of this uh, Feedback Friday, you know, less synths. I thought that this could use more atmospheric instrumentation, more driving instrumentation. Like, and I think that this could use more synths because I think the instrumentation could have been a little more dramatic. Um, I saw where they were going with the song. Obviously at the end is where they, they finally, um, that's where they got to, but I think that could have started much earlier. Um, and it still could have been a buildup, but a buildup that was just more, um, it, it could have captured me a little earlier. Um, cool. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely understand where you're coming from. The, you know, the listening habits of people are not really focused on like almost six minute long songs these days. Yeah. Like, you know, hit, so hit songs are like two minutes long and don't even have a bridge, let alone a guitar solo. Having said that, having said that. I think that this melody in the chorus is beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful melody. And I could actually picture it, you know, again, I, I almost wish we should do like a, <laughs> we should do like a feedback Friday where it's like only demos to be submitted, only work, work tapes in progress. Because I, you know, when I hear these songs that there's so much energy and effort that's gone into them, you almost feel bad giving feedback to go, well, if I'd wish I just heard this before it was recorded, just to help sort of like tie it up, you know, and, and, and maybe clean it up and make it a little bit easier. Having said that, I think that I like the kind of darkness. I would just do one thing just for fun, which is I would take the song, put it into Pro Tools or some sort of like very speed or like Ableton or whatever you use and like literally just very speed it down by like 5%. And it'll drop the song down. It'll make it even darker. It'll make it a bit heavier sounding. It'll take that voice and kind of make it a little bit creepier and spookier. I would even add like just underneath the whole thing, just like a little, like a, like a, like 4% of like just a reverb, just to make it like feel a bit more washed out. Oh my God. Kind of, I, t I was just about to say reverb. Yeah. Just like, but just on the whole thing, just to make it kind of like, it, just, just give it, even give it more of a vibe. Right. Um, that's a great thing I, yeah the other thing I, and that's that's super easy anybody could do that even if you have garage band you could do that um because then at that point it starts to open itself up to shows like big little lies or these kinds of like these these shows that are these complex very slow burn dramas and then all of a sudden it's like oh this song is amazing and people are going to shazam the shit out of it oops shazam the heck out of it yep. oops. um yeah i i uh, we'll, we'll cut that out later um and, 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 and I thought like there was something I liked about the, the just the, 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 the even tempered flow about it and just being kind of drawn into the melody. I just loved the melody. The chorus did feel a little bit long. I would think about maybe again as an option, maybe the first chorus is half, the second chorus is half and the third chorus is the whole one, just to kind of shave down some time here. Um, I think you save the guitar solo for live. I don't think that that's something that's that's needed here. Uh, but you know, it almost like can, you can kind of go with like a keen vibe, like the band King, like somewhere only we know, or like some like an like an energy like that. But again, I would just for fun try slowing it down, I... adding a little bit of reverb, dropping it, it. It'll automatically drop the key. So make sure that when you're slowing it down, you're also it's also affecting the pitch of the song, and then just just a tiny bit of reverb. I think you're going to open up a whole new energy on that song. And I think music supervisors would love it. I love that comment because in my own personal time, late at night, I listen to slow down reverb songs of like popular songs that I already like listen to uh, regardless, but I listen to that. It's on, a whole new vibe, right? It's a whole vibe. I love yeah. that comment. And I also think that that's very relevant, especially on 
what you're saying about you know big little lie uh big little lies and those shows but also tiktok loves those slowed versions of songs and reverbed and i think that is such a large vibe that i think will be entering more so especially in the yeah. same world i think that that's a really good uh point love it let's uh let's move on to the next one all right number five friends like that by glenn foster A long lost friend Just showed up one day I recognize your face Yeah, I'm doing okay But you're having a midlife crisis What do you expect me to say? If I could deal with the drama I might invite you to stay But with friends like that who needs enemies? I've got all the hell I can handle. Don't even begin. You build me up, then you bring me down. I'd like to help you out. How did you get in? My 42nd cousin thought he'd look me up Arrived in my driveway In his pickup truck Yeah, I remember Uncle Bob And his turkey farm I'm sorry all the neighbors Did you so much harm With friends like that Who needs enemies I've got all the help I can handle Don't even begin You build me up But you bring me down I'd like to help you out How did you get in? Now a kid I knew When we were back in school he used to beat me up He thought he was cool He'd give me a punch Then throw my lunch away Leave me out of the fun When there were games to play I used to hate that kid He made my life miserable If I could go back then change a thing or two but I forgive him now I don't want to commiserate why hold a grudge there's no good it can do with friends like that who needs enemies I've got all the help I can handle don't even begin to build me friend invites me out on the town he's gonna show me a good time and spread some money around but I bought all the drinks I even paid for the meal he forgot his wallet at home yeah that was some kind of deal with friends like that who needs enemies
And we're back. Comments. So, if I was in a session with uh, Glenn, it was Glenn, I think, right? Glenn, yep. If I was if I was in a session with Glenn and Glenn said, "I have this idea," and he started playing me this song, I would say, "We should not write a song called Friends Like That. We should write a song called Friends Like This, and it should all be about the good, awesome people that." especially in this world that we're living in right now right it's like it's like we're all in this together we're all lit we're, we're all having this the same shared experience right it's like friends like this are awesome friends like this help me get through this help me you know and so i would i would immediately flip the perspective if i was in this session with glenn as we were writing a song going i love friends like this as a concept and it opens up so many more possibilities to licensing down the line because you can just picture you know everybody hanging out on the beach drinking Budweiser's with friends like this, right? Or, or, or you know, there's just, it, it opens up so many options at that point. So that's the first thing, just, just on like a concept level. Um, obviously, you know, it's, again, it's f almost five minutes of the same chord changes over and over again. So I would try and, and, and a very similar melody. I appreciate that it's telling a story, um, but, you know, I think that you could start doing some variation in terms of, how the lyric is getting delivered, like the, the 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 rhythmic pattern of the lyric, where the lines are starting, um, how the lines are ending, uh, you know, the 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 a little bit of the structure. The structure can use a bit of help, if I'm just being honest. Um, and then also, there's a lot of story here. So rather than have four verses that almost feels like six verses, I think that you 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 take the best parts and you tell the best story. You know, I talked about this in a blog. Is the song Hallelujah that was written by uh, by Leonard Cohen. I mean, he he wrote 70 verses for that song. He picked the three best or the four best. Um, so, you know, try and simplify and really filter down the writing and make it the best that that writing, that that song could be. But again, I would even take, you know, I would, if I was Glenn, I would go, oh, how do we write the friends like this concept and talk about, you know, like life is amazing because I'm surrounded by friends like this. This this is all I need. I would even maybe this is a jump off point for a new song. So that those are my comments. I totally agree. I think with that, you would get a, a lot more uh sync placement possibilities. I think it's very limited with the kind of negative and very specific storyline that he was telling. Yeah, I thought Turkey, uh the, the turkey farm was was oddly specific. <laughs> The turkey farm lyric was oddly. I mean, it felt like this is his life. Like I felt like we were, we're we've now been welcomed into Glenn's well, life, right? Memoir. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right, we're gonna go to song number six. Say the words. The last song by Nedji. Or, or Say the word. Ned Jai. Years of frustration, patiently waiting. Old man in the moon. Why can't you hear me? Just in the old days, I can't be persuaded. I'll be chasing the clouds until I'm weary. But is it enough? Keep up when you're able Into 
years of frustration, patiently waited. Oh, man in the moon, why can't you hear me? Cheers to the old days, I can't be persuaded. I'll be chasing the clouds until I'm weary. But is it enough? up to you i got a bunch of notes but it's up to you i Go ahead. felt like the vocals especially in the beginning were drowning in the production and i always i almost felt like the beat was running away from the vocals the time when it actually the song felt most natural was the bridge or a little bit after the bridge as well when the beat finally slowed down um i felt like that was the time where everything consolidated and made sense. And I was able to really focus on the vocal, but otherwise I felt like the, vo the vocal and the instrumentation just didn't blend well. Ooh, you're harsh. You're a tough critic. You're a tough A&R person. Um, uh, sorry, continue. you're welcome to continue. Go that was ahead. it. That was, that was it. Okay. Um, so uh, I agree with, I agree with what you're saying. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to lead with a bit of sugar first, if that's okay. Um, I, I love her voice. Yeah. The voice is great. I, I love, I love her voice. And I think that, I think that, um, when you have a voice like that, you want to do everything you can to serve that voice and make sure that, that that is the center central focus of, of what you're listening and attending to. Right. Um, the, I, I, so, so here's, here's, here's the sugar. I love the chord changes in the verse. I thought they were very unique. I think the melody is really cool. It kind of gave me some Corinne Bailey Ray slash India RE vibes, which I thought was really cool. It felt very fresh and I loved it. Um, uh, a couple, a couple of just like songwriting things like you don't really, you don't re just in terms of storytelling, you don't really understand what say the words means. I think that there's an assumption of what it's meant to mean, right? Which is, I love you maybe or whatever. But we don't really get there. It's not really, it's not really, you know, listeners are, are myself included, right? We're dumb. Like, give it to us. Tell us the story and, 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 and help, help us get to what you're trying to understand. Let's not assume that we know anything, right? Like, imagine a listener is five years old. Tell them that story. So I feel like, unless I've completely missed the mark, I feel like that was kind of where the story was going. Um, and, and, and it's, not, it's not explicitly laid out enough. Um, I, one of the big things I would do is uh, <clears throat> in the hook, so in the hook, she's she's doing, she's basically taking the same thing and she's repeating the first half as the second half. I would keep the say the words as the reprise at the end of the hook, but I would have the second half be something more like, you know, and again, because I think this will tell the story, right? The second half goes, maybe it's love because I feel this energy, just say the words or something. And then all of a sudden love rhymes with enough. And then, the, and then, and then energy rhymes with the line before it and in the same, you know, scans the same way. And then you tell the story and you're like, oh, maybe it's love because I feel the energy, just say the words. To me, that wraps the story up. It gives it, a, it, it's like, oh yes, it puts it in a bow. It makes it consumable. And we understand now what you're talking about. Um, I agree, production feels distracting. 
So I would like, how do we simplify that? And again, just a little trick that I do as a producer is you get these records done and you're like, every good idea you had, you recorded, which you should do, but then get, get rid of it, get rid of it, lose stuff. As you're getting towards closer to the finish line of finishing the production, lose stuff, get rid of stuff, go, is this serving the song? And yeah. what is really the purpose of it? The lyric and the melody, right? Nobody, not that, any, not that, that there even is record stores anymore, but like nobody walks up to, you know, a DJ and goes, hey, can you give me, what's that song that goes, boo, cha, boo, cha, right? They walk up to the DJ and go, what's that song that goes, just say the words. That's what they want to hear. So always serve the lyric and the melody first. And I think this is a perfect example of what we need to be doing here, generally speaking. Always serve the lyric and melody first. That is the song. Cool. Yeah. It's it's like uh, when you're leaving the house, always take one accessory off. I totally agree. I, I, I feel you. <laughs> cool. Well, that wraps it up. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below and we'll get to them. Um, thank you again for being my co-host today. Always love when Justin Gray is here. Oh, and thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. You you guys are doing an awesome job on Feedback Fridays, and uh, you can't see her, but also in the background is basically the Feedback Fridays producer Chelsea Davis, uh, who is always constantly just killing it for us as well. So she love was being here. Host. She was also a past host. She was. She was. You're right, and she did an amazing job. You guys were awesome. You guys were like you guys were like the uh, Cagney and Lacey. You don't even know that reference point, but look it up. You guys are like the Cagney and Lacey of Feedback Fridays. I will assume that's a good thing. You're like the Ethel and Lucy of Feedback Fridays. That's, you're, I think you're going up one decade at a time. Eventually. I'm going down one decade. I'm going down oh, one decade. Back. You guys, you guys are, you guys are like, you guys are like the Betty and Wilma of Feedback Fridays. I love it that you didn't get any of those reference points. Google those. All right. <laughs> All right. With that being said, we're going to okay, wrap it up. You're the Starsky and Hutch. You're the Starsky and Hutch. Guys, of I Feedback have a lot of research to do right now. So we're going to wrap <laughs> this up because I have no idea what he's talking about anymore. Um, thank, right. you. thank you, Justin. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, everyone who's watched. And thank you for the submissions. And we will see you in two weeks or three because Bye, everybody. Goodbye.